Hello everyone, it's Gladius. So in 10.1 and in season two of Dragonflight, we're gonna have to do a lot of trading with the Niffin faction. There's a new feature called the bartering system. We're gonna use currencies to trade for items, which we take those items and trade with other NPCs to be able to get the items we want, like the vendor recipes for professions, for example. Now it's important that we use our currencies wisely and we don't spend them too quickly because there's a certain point where the trading currency actually changes. And if we don't make the right decisions, we can end up losing out on a lot of currency. In this video here, I'm going to go over exactly what we need to be aware of as we go in with trading in the bartering system. There's a lot to go over, so let's jump right into it. First thing we need to know about the Loam Niffin is that to get anywhere and to get any items that you need from this faction, you're going to have to understand the bartering system. The bartering system is basically where you're going to use certain token items to be able to trade for other items. So very shortly after arriving in Loam, you're going to have a quest from everybody's favorite Ponzi scheming rat, Ponzo. This quest is going to help you set up his Ponzi scheme and get started in Loam. And at that point, you're actually going to have access to his store page. So complete the quest called Get Rich Quick. And at that point, we can start talking about Barter Bricks. The Barter Brick is the first currency item you're gonna be interacting with, specifically when you talk to the NPC Ponzo. So if we head on over to Ponzo, we can go ahead and open up his trade menu. And there's gonna be a lot of cosmetic items in here, but the ones I wanna draw your attention to are the Bartered Dig Map, Ponzo's Cream, and the Glimbrog Time Chair Voucher. These three items are going to interact with other activities and vendors you can see in Loam. For example, if we take a look at Ponzu's Cream and the Glimrog Timeshare Voucher, you're able to buy these for 25 barter bricks or 80 barter bricks, respectively. If we just take a quick short trip over to one of the profession trainers, like the blacksmithing trainer, for example, you can see that you can barter with them and you can use the Ponzu's Cream or the Glimrock Timeshare Voucher to buy plans for the Shadowed Alloy or the Shadowed Belt Clasp. Each of the professions are gonna have their own offerings for Ponzu's Cream and the Timeshare Token. I have a video going over each one of those in the description if you wanna take a look at that after this video. There are some pretty good ones out there. Let's go back to talking about the Barter Bricks. You're gonna start finding these as you're doing activities in the Zerlac Caverns. Mostly, we're going to find these when we start looking in the hidden treasures scattered all around the Zerlac Caverns. Renown 2 is when we start seeing the hidden treasures popping up around the map. So as we level up this Renown, we're going to see more and more of these treasures all around. This is where, I mentioned it before, but this is where an add-on like Handy Notes and of course an NPC scanning add-on like Rare Scanner. These add-ons are going to be helpful as you try to increase your coffers on your stash of barter bricks and soon barter boulders. That's right, we're talking about more currencies. That's because at, at Renown 3, we're gonna unlock the base bartering. But when we get to Renown 12, our bartering ability is going to increase. And at that point, we'll be able to use a new currency to trade with our buddy Ponzo. Basically, the advantage of this is that every time we find a bartering boulder, it's as if we found three bartering bricks. So they're just much more valuable currencies and you can still transfer your bartering bricks into bartering boulders by paying three bricks for every boulder. After reaching Renown 12 and we walk back to Ponzo, this is what the new shop is gonna look like. And see, we can actually change our bartering bricks into bartering boulders. And they get a better rate if you look at the cost of the actual items. If we put our min-maxing hat on here, we wanna do the majority of our trading once we unlock this second level of bartering, because of course we get better trades. We'll have to balance that with the fact that we're gonna to wanna to race to some of these recipes. I'm not gonna sweat losing out on a couple of barter bricks by rushing this recipe out. But just keep that in mind that your bartering is going to increase and you're going to be able to get better deals as you as you increase your renown specifically when you reach renown 12 you're going to get better deals with ponzo now we mentioned another item on ponzo as well so let's go back to that there's something called a bartered dig map here to talk about the map we're gonna to have to talk about another another activity called sniff and seeking there's an npc in loam named merit merit can hold three maps at a time and each one of these maps is going to lead you to a small scenario activity. And each one of these maps represents an activity that you can do with Merit. You can see that when you walk over to Merit, there's gonna be an icon that indicates how many dig maps you have. Interacting with Merit and consuming one of the maps, you're gonna be able to send yourself over to a small dungeon encounter. This is where you're gonna go with Merit through a series of challenges and puzzles where you're able to overcome certain obstacles like poisonous vapors, fighting monsters, 
or in one specific case, placing Merit down on a pressure plate so you're able to take down a shield to be able to open up a chest. The end goal of this scenario is to open up the treasure chest that's being blocked by some kind of obstacle and get the loot from it. So where do we get the maps? Well, first, there's a weekly quest that's a lot like the Aiding the Accord quest where you have to get a certain number of renown per week with the new faction, the Niffin faction. And upon its completion, you're able to get a cache that's going to include one lost treasure map in it. So you can expect to get one from that source every week. In addition to this one, there is also one dig map that is just provided to players each week. And then also you can barter with Ponzo once a week to be able to obtain another barter dig map. So if you wanted to do all three of the, the maps each week, you could use all three of those sources each week to be able to do all of them. Now rewards you get when you complete each one of these, you're going to get a bag that contains Zerlac glow spores. These items are going to be very important for all players if you're looking to make some gold, the Zerlac glow spores are going to make a lot on the auction house. They're used to make some of the new recipes and most importantly, some of those, some of the crests that are going to be used to upgrade the crafted gear. Take a look at my upgrade guide in the description if you want to know more about that. Also, you're going to be able to earn 250 renown or reputation with the Lone Niffin per completion of the maps. And in addition, you'll get some Dragon Isle supplies with a chance at profession reagents also being awarded upon completion as well. And one more thing I wanted to add on here too is that reaching level 20 renown with the Loam Niffin is going to upgrade your bartering system one more time. And at this point, this upgrade is going to allow you to go over to the quartermaster for the Loam Niffin, Harlow Marl, and you can actually buy bartered bricks for Dragon Isle supplies. So at that point, you can pretty much just max out all of your purchase with the Loam Niffin and you can afford just about anything. So you can look forward to that as a final capstone for your Loam Niffin renown. Now, just so we don't leave any stones unturned, let's go ahead and go through the cosmetic options you can get from Ponzo. So you're able to get um, some cosmetics for your winding Slither Drake. You're gonna get a hairy brow, curled nose, cluster chin horn, and you can get two bits of bartered notes. And you can buy two sets of notes off of Ponzo, two for each of your professions. And then finally, you are able to get a companion the little snail companion, and then also the boulder holler reins. Once your, once your shop upgrades, you're able to get some more items. Let's take a look at those. So for the hefty price of 249 barter boulders, you can get Ponzu's scheming topper. It's a pretty cool hat, actually. Wouldn't mind that. And that's it. That's everything we need to know about Ponzo and the bartering system. If you have any other questions about it, please leave a comment down in the comment section below. And also let me know, Do you what do you think of this system? Do you think it's pretty cool to be bartering with the Niffin in the Zerlac Caverns? If not, what were you hoping to see? All right, that's it. That's the bartering system. That's Ponzo. That's everything we need to know as of the release of 10.1. If the video helped you out today, please heroic strike that like button. And if you want to stay tuned for more WoW content in the future, please slam the subscribe. I appreciate your time today and I hope you have a great one. See you in the next one.